uh, another uh, quick video on the uh, dog trailer I put together to get the dog across country. This frame started out as just a cheap eBay dog trailer, but the first time I took him for a ride, we flipped it on a corner, so it was a little too narrow. And he's a wild dog anyway. So what I did here, if I can get down here, is I uh, cut the frame in half and widened it three and a quarter inches. And I zip tied this folding steel dog crate right on top of that. And it fits pretty good. And for the top, all around the perimeter on the top, I took three quarter inch PVC and that is zip tied across the top of the cage. And then this Naga hide is screwed on from the back of that. And I've got Velcro connectors all the way on the four corners so I can open one side, both sides, all the sides, depending on where the sun is, and keep him in the shade and keep him cool. It also gives me room to strap a few things on top. And then I just put a backpack on the back, which will hold his dog food and his folding water dishes and whatnot. And so he's got, uh, he's got a, his own couple of water bottles here. There's another uh, water bottle cage there and on the other side. And of course, he's got his safety flag and his uh, blinky light. And these fenders here are just made out of coroplast and they're just kind of cut to shape and then uh, just zip tied on there. Lightweight and should keep the mud from flipping in on him and also keep his tail out of the spokes because he's the type of dog that would do that. Anyway. It, uh, it doesn't weigh as much as you think it would, and I think it should work out fine for him. This is what the, uh, what the wife would be pulling, and I've still got the big camping trailer, which I mentioned in another video that I was going to run those 16-inch solid rubber tires. Well, after watching a uh, few videos and reading a few uh, posts, I found out that those tires sometimes will slide around corners and that they ride so rough that it just drives you nuts. So I went ahead and put some Kenda pneumatics on it and that'll probably show up in another video sometime. Once I get the bike done I'm doing a couple of changes to the bike or at least experiments see if they work or not. Anyway, this is how a dog is getting cross country. Alright, later guys.